Let's balance the net ionic equation for ammonium sulfide plus cobalt-3 nitrate. The first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. This up here is our molecular equation. I can see that I have three sulfur atoms here and only one here. So I'm going to put a three in front of the ammonium sulfide. Now I have three times the two ammonium ions. So I have six ammonium ions. I'm going to have to put a six here. Six ammonium ions, also six nitrate ions. I have three nitrate ions here. So if I put a two here, that fixes these nitrate ions, two cobalts, two cobalts. That's the balanced molecular equation. Now the net ionic equation. We need to write the states for each substance. That'll look like this. Compounds with the ammonium ion, they're very soluble. Compounds with the nitrate ion, very soluble. So those are all aqueous. They're going to dissolve, split apart into their ions. Sulfides in general, unless it's something like ammonium sulfide or sodium sulfide, sulfides in general are insoluble. So this is going to be a solid. It'll be a precipitate, and it'll fall to the bottom of the test tube. Once we have the states, now we can split up the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that's going to give us the complete ionic equation. So we're only going to split things up that are aqueous. We're going to leave the solid here together. That looks like this. So now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of our complete ionic equation. In the reactants here, I can see I have six of these ammonium ions. I also have six ammonium ions here in the products. Those are spectator ions. We can cross those out. Same for the nitrate ions, six here, again in the products, spectator ions, and we cross those out. What's left is the net ionic equation for ammonium sulfide plus cobalt-3 nitrate. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for this NH42S plus CONO33. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have 2 times 3 plus, and that's 6 plus. 3 times 2 minus, that's 6 minus. So this all adds up to 0, net charge of 0. This is a neutral compound, net charge of 0. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for ammonium sulfide and copper 3 nitrate. Thanks for watching.